Hey everyone, welcome back to Exotic Wilderness. In this video, I'm going to show you how to pair for the common pet hissing cockroach. In the last video, you saw me set up this rack system for my cockroach colonies. And here, we have my Halloween hissers, and then the colony we're going to be focusing on. I'm going to be going over the care and husbandry for these awesome cockroaches as pets. When it comes to keeping them, their handability is really high and they're awesome pets. I just keep them in this 32 quart right here with a decent amount of ventilation, about a circle on all the short sides and then two circles on the longer side, a circle on the top for ventilation. I recommend putting a some type of screen mesh over it because babies will be able to crawl out through most holes depending on how large they are. And while you're seeing some Halloween hissers in here, well, my Halloween hissers have not been breeding, and I think it's because there's two males, so I moved a few of the males into this enclosure since they can't hybridize, which would be really rare if they did. When it comes to care, I keep them in the high 80s, keep one side of the enclosure dry, one high, so they can choose how hot and warm they want to be. It's also important not to have them super soaking wet. One is doing really good, and this is actually one of the very large females right here. She's just chilling. Finally, I actually have some males popping up, and this is actually, I believe, one of the largest in the whole colony. And he is really cool. He's got some cool coloring, and he is gigantic compared to all the other males in here. When it comes to heat and humidity, you want dry and high and I guess you could say a more humidity side for these guys. Also want to provide a good substrate. You can also add thick soil, which is rotting sawdust. Very nice. I like to add ABG mix with some rough tie soil with cocoa brick and some dead leaves and stuff like that just to give them nice substrate to burrow in if they'd like to. They are a pretty arboreal species, surprisingly, because in Madagascar they live on the forest floor. They like stuff to hide under, so I have their food dish. I have this paper towel tube, and as you can see, there's some in there. I'm gonna keep some egg crates on all the sides, and I like to keep the food dish directly in the middle. All the foods on the side so that they feel more secure so that they're not stressed out. Providing heat, I recommend just adding the heat mat to the side. It's better than putting it under because it gives it more of a heat gradient like this side will be more warmer than this side. Here's my thermostat. I actually keep the heat mat itself at 102. Obviously it doesn't get 102, it gets around 80 to 90s. The higher the heat is, the warmer it will be, and their natural habitat can actually reach 100 degrees, so it won't hurt adding more heat. When it comes to food, eat lots of vegetables, fresh vegetables and fresh fruit. And actually if you give them more ripened um, fruit, they seem to love that more like overripened banana and apple. With that veggie and fruit diet, you also want to include some protein like fish flakes, um, fish pellets, hog food, and you don't want anything over than 30% for these guys when it comes to protein. So make sure to check your bags of dog food when buying it. And I keep mine on a 23% and I only add a few pebbles in there every feeding. I really enjoy fish flakes. Like I say in most of my cockroach videos, if you have not yet, please try feeding the fish flakes. So they just love it. Back to the fruits and vegetables, they eat most vegetables like romaine, lettuce, celery. Also another thing that they really like is sliced up carrot. Now some people feed theirs whole carrots, but for some reason mine just really likes sliced carrot. For some reason it's just sliced, they, it must appeal to their eyes more because when I feed them just normal carrots, they don't like it unless it's sliced. The fruit, they eat apples, strawberries. Anything like that. The main thing that you do not want to feed them is iceberg lettuce because iceberg lettuce is harmful to many critters, even rabbits and stuff, and it can just kill them. So on every feeding, don't always um, supply with fruit and just dog food because they can actually gorge themselves full of fruit. And I've actually had that happen with my Halloween colony when a male just devours apple and it builds up the gas and it can actually cause death your cockroaches. Care for these guys isn't that hard and it's pretty much the same care as the Halloween hissers just different stuff like that. I miss your cockroaches um, every two to three days sometimes if you're more on the drier side maybe every other day um, and then you also want to supply them with a damp paper towel in their food dish. People say they eat out of the water gel and drink it 
but that is not true from what most people have said, so I recommend trying that. Dehydration is actually one of the number one causes of death for these guys if they're not getting enough water, so make sure to follow that. Here's actually a smaller nymph just hanging on the side. Tons of adults, like I've said. Like here's one of the other males right there. Another nymph, so I have a lot, a, a lot of giant sub-adults and, and they are definitely getting pretty large. So yeah, there's kind of the care guide for these guys. Now I have more in my website down below in the description if you want to check it. Uh, yeah, go check that down below in the description. We can't forget to show you guys Scarlet. She's doing good and bigger than ever and hopefully she has some more babies. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please like and subscribe if you want to see more awesome content just like this. So now spring and almost summer, so I can't wait for the new uploads that I'm going to have coming soon. And I hope you guys can't wait too. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye everyone.